Alright folks, today I'm gonna show you how to prepare a red wine flavored ribeye. Time to brew! I'm so proud I can present you this video recipe. There was a night I woke up with the idea of why is everyone who uses sous vide cooking vacuum bags. So based on that idea I decided to give it a try and to cook a steak sous vide in red wine without the vacuum bag and the result is so stunning um, I'm gonna have to show you so we just put two liter of red wine into a bowl or a pot a cooking pot and this is my sous vide cooking stick we're gonna um, set this to 52 degrees Celsius that's um, approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit or so and we're gonna heat up the red wine here until the red wine has the internal temperature. So basically it's the idea of sous vide cooking so that the meat gets the internal temperature um, after a longer time. This is a 300 gram ribeye steak from one of my favorite online butcheries yourbeef.de and this is really really great, it has an awesome flavor. This one is dry aged and it's really in a nice shape, it has a little fat cap so we're gonna slice the fat cap because we want to um, grill this later on. This one has three fingers, uh, three fingers. So that's a really, really good looking steak. So we're gonna slice the fat cap because after the sous vide cooking of two till two and a half hours, we're gonna throw this onto the grill so it gets a nice color in later on and some um, some better bark. And basically that's what we do. We put the complete steak without the vacuum bag into the red wine. And we're gonna let this cook there for approximately two till two and a half hours. So this is really great when it comes up to YouTube videos. So you don't have that two and a half hours. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. We're gonna take this out of the red wine. And as you can see the purple color is really 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 looking great for me so make sure not to take too much red wine out of the pot we're gonna dry this up with some paper towel here and as you can see while I'm touching this one it really has a nice texture already it's tender a little bit soft so all we have to do here is now put this onto the grill for some marks nice color a little bit of a bark we're gonna add some salt here on both sides and it's really really interesting so I posted some of the um, pictures before and some people asked if this is a horse or so no it's beef meat completely flavored with red wine so this is the faster version of one and a half minutes on direct heat from each side just to get some great grill marks here of course I will put the exact amount of ingredients into the video description as always you can check it out how I did this one there will be also some uh, links that might be interesting for you some uh, links to my a store and some links to my uh, fan pages especially Instagram and Facebook are doing quite well right now you can see some exclusive uh, pre shots behind the scene footage on the Instagram and the Facebook account so check it out so we're almost ready with that one we're gonna have some grill marks here it's a little bit brown nice color and now we're gonna uh, take this for I don't know one or two minutes just to rest there will be not much juice running out of the meat because it's dry aged so we're gonna cut into and see how we did okay does this look good or what it has a red wine flavor it has a nice crust and is that juicy so uh, this is um, a great input for more ideas I will do some more sous vide cooked steak or stuff in I don't know bourbon coke whatever the mixture can be I'm gonna give this a shot please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet leave me a thumb up comment on your recipe ideas on using sous vide cooking uh, with other things than water in a vacuum bag I'm gonna give this a shot we're seeing us again in two or three days thanks for watching I'm out see you